It is the most interesting time of the year in the WWE. We just had WrestleMania 35, and now on Monday Night Raw, and on Tuesday on SmackDown Live, we're going to have the Superstar Shakeup. This is when people from Raw are going to go to SmackDown. People from SmackDown are going to go to Raw. NXT people are going to come up to Raw and SmackDown. We get some interesting shakeup here in the WWE to make some new feuds, to make some new tag teams, maybe to make some new interesting programs, and make WWE just very, very interesting again. Now, there's a lot of things that I think that should be done here. And today we're going to actually look at 10 superstars that I think should go to Raw from SmackDown and SmackDown to Raw and maybe some NXT call-ups here as well. I do just want to put a little asterisk here saying we're not going to talk about the women. And you're probably like, what? You don't care about the women? No, that's not it. Right now, Becky Lynch holds both championships. And the way I see it, she is the undisputed women's champion. I don't think in my mind that the women should go either brand if we're going to have one undisputed women's champion i think that they should be able to go wherever they want the women's division could be huge you could have feuds all over the place and that's the way that i see it so you have that one women's champion you have the one tag team champion so i feel like with the women they should be on both shows doing their thing killing it making it interesting so that's how i see it so that's why i'm not going to put any women to be drafted from raw to smackdown because to me honestly it just doesn't make any sense coming in at number 10 for Monday Night Raw, drafted from NXT, that is Aleister Black. I feel like Aleister Black on Monday Night Raw would be very, very awesome. And I know some of you are like, why not put him on SmackDown? SmackDown's the place you want to see Aleister Black. Well, they kind of called up Aleister Black and Ricochet as a tag team together. And I wasn't really that big of a fan of it. I honestly thought that they should have came up in their separate ways, maybe after WrestleMania on Raw. But now we're going to the Superstar Shakeup, so I think officially Aleister Black should end up on Raw. And that means number nine, I think SmackDown Live for their first from NXT should be Ricochet. And the reason I say that is because, I again, I, I just think they need to split them up. I think Aleister Black on Raw as his own character, Ricochet on SmackDown as his own character would be very, very interesting because then you could get Aleister Black to do some uh, like main event and upper mid card stuff. And I think Aleister Black as a singles character is more interesting than a tag team wrestler. Not to say that they're bad as a tag team. I just think they're more interesting by themselves. And Ricochet SmackDown just makes total sense with the way that they're going on SmackDown. Number eight. To Monday Night Raw, we have the Usos. That's right. I think the Usos need to come over to Monday Night Raw. It's been rumored that they're actually going to come up to Monday Night Raw from SmackDown, so I'd love to see them come over. And the reason is because they've been on SmackDown for a while. They've been doing their thing, but I think coming over to Monday Night Raw, and you need to kind of shake up that tag team division, really, in both brands because it's kind of like... It's all right, but you're seeing like some of the same kind of programs over and over. So if you put the Usos on Raw, then you get some fresh stuff. Maybe whatever you want to do on SmackDown, maybe create some new tag teams out of some new superstars. But I think the Usos coming to Raw would be key right there. Number seven, drafted to SmackDown Live from Monday Night Raw, Drew McIntyre. I can't say anything negative about Drew McIntyre. If I could go on and on about how Drew McIntyre was a joke in 3MB, left the WWE, killed it on the independent scene, ICW went all over the world, became the business, and then came back to WWE, I feel like Drew McIntyre is ready to be pushed to the moon as a top guy. I feel like he left got really, really, really amazing on the independent scene and came back. And I think moving into SmackDown would give him like a fresh start where he could just dominate on SmackDown and maybe be the face of the SmackDown brand. I think, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people who could see a lot of different things, you know, oh, well, well, the Kofi just won it. I know, I know people like Kofi, but I still think Drew McIntyre is, is killing it, being awesome. And, you know, he could be a major player on SmackDown. Speaking of SmackDown, number six, Coming to Raw from SmackDown Live, I'd love to see AJ Styles. I honestly want AJ Styles to come to Monday Night Raw. I think he's a big time player. I feel like kind of on SmackDown, he's kind of ran through what he's done on SmackDown. And I feel like he's kind of, he, he's, he's the champ that runs the camp. He's the face that runs the place. He made SmackDown Live, whatever he's saying. I think that it's time for AJ Styles to come to Monday Night Raw, give him some more interesting new stuff to do. Again, he's a big name. I think that now AJ Styles fits into that WWE mold where it's like, you are a guy that we could push 
that could be the face of the company that could hold that brand even if it's not the championship he's still a guy that people you know you put him on Monday Night Raw you could sell tickets to the show and that's how I see it. there's like a weird dichotomy of Monday Night Raw and Smackdown where I feel like AJ Styles is like a big name and he could fit on Raw and make it work perfectly number five this is where things get interesting because we're getting somebody from Raw over to Smackdown that I think could be could be could be very very interesting now I don't know how you're going to do this when it comes down to the other brands and the other things and how it's all going to play on how the championships are all going to lie after the draft but I do think that Finn Balor going over to Smackdown would be a great pick Finn Balor is a guy who has been killing it on the wrestling scene Doing the demon stuff, Intercontinental Champion, take that over to SmackDown. Do some very, very interesting things there, and I, I would love to see that. Honestly, Finn Balor is one of my favorite wrestlers. He's always been super entertaining. So I think that if you could get Finn Balor over to SmackDown, you could give him like a fresh kind of start. Because Finn Balor has this weird thing, right? Where he's really over, but it's kind of like up and down and weird spots so if you put him on smackdown i think there'd be some very interesting feuds you could go over there there's a lot of great wrestlers that would fit in with him i mean you think of ali you think of kofi there's a lot of people over there that you could do so i think finn balor intercontinental champion taking that to smackdown now i don't know what you're going to do with samoa joe do you want to put him on raw maybe i don't know go for it change it up do something interesting who knows who knows but i think finn balor will run smackdown that's how i would do it Number four, this is going to be a big one because we're pulling someone from NXT UK to come to Monday Night Raw, and that is Pete Dunne. Honestly, I think Pete Dunne is ready for the main roster. I think Pete Dunne's been ready for the main roster a long time ago. I think that Pete Dunne coming up to Raw would make things interesting. You'd be like, oh, NXT UK people can come up? That's something I didn't expect. And I think Pete Dunne is one of those guys where a lot of people are like, would he fit on Raw or would he be better on SmackDown? I honestly think he carries himself so well. He's such a great in-ring wrestler and he's such a, I feel like you could... For some reason, I just feel like he fits on Monday Night Raw. You could put him on SmackDown if you wanted, but I think putting him on Monday Night Raw would make it very, very, very interesting just because the character you could build around him, I still see him as like one of my favorite from the NXT UK division. And I think he definitely needs a spot on the main roster. I think Raw wouldn't be just suit him just perfectly. And in at number three, we need to get this man on SmackDown. When I talked about Drew McIntyre, I said, he went out there and killed it. He killed it on Raw. But I feel like if he just went over to SmackDown, it would give him like a fresh start. I feel like this would be perfect for Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman going over to SmackDown would be so good. Where SmackDown has a lot of smaller guys. There's they're, they're some big guys. But I still think taking Braun Strowman, putting him on SmackDown, and making him the monster among men that he was on Raw would be so good. There's been a point where Braun Strowman should have been Pulled, the trigger should have been happening and he should have been the WWE Undisputed Champion. But for whatever reason, WWE did not pull that trigger and Braun Strowman was never champion. I feel like he's done pretty much everything that he could do on Monday Night Raw. So putting him on SmackDown would, again, give him that fresh start, make him go right in there and give him that, that moment where it's like, okay, now we got another main event. And even if you want to put the rocket straps on him, give him that title. Woo, I'd love it. I'd love to see it. So Braun Strowman, Get your butt over to SmackDown. Let's see it happen. And at number two, coming down to the last two right here. Going to Monday Night Raw. I'd love to see the Undisputed Era. I honestly want the Undisputed Era to Monday Night Raw. I think Adam Cole, baby, would just fit so perfectly on Raw. He's got the mic skill. All of them together would be so good. Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish. Just put them all there. Just put them all there. Roddy Strong. Make them on Monday Night Raw. You could do SmackDown if you wanted. But honestly, I think Monday Night Raw would be better. You need a big faction on Raw to take out everybody. Take their name. Claim it. How much cooler would it be if the Superstar Shake-Up ended tonight with the Undisputed Era pulling a Nexus, destroying everybody, destroying the ring. The Raw goes off the air with Adam Cole, baby. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. In at number one, we're going to do a double two for one here. And this is Raw and SmackDown. We're going to switch spots here. And that is Kofi Kingston and Seth 
freaking Rollins. You switch those titles. You put the Universal title on SmackDown. You put the WWE Championship on Raw. You get Kofi over there on Raw to lead that brand. Seth on SmackDown to lead that brand. Woo! Then you have the New Day over on SmackDown doing their tag stuff by themselves. I think this is the best time to split up the New Day. Not to say you need to split up the New Day. You don't really need to split up the New Day. I don't think you do. But if you're ever going to have Kofi, you have that, that run and you're going to keep things interesting. You'd be like, oh, okay. All right. They're switching them up. The title's gonna change. There's always those fun things where you like to see, oh, Universal Title SmackDown? Huh, okay. Not only would that make the title interesting, that'd make both of them interesting. Seth on SmackDown, Kofi on Raw. It'd be just very good, I'd love to see. I would love to see that. So anyway, guys, that's where we're gonna leave it today. Those are our 10 superstars again. Alistair Black to Raw, Ricochet to SmackDown, Usos to Raw, Drew McIntyre to SmackDown, AJ Styles to Raw, Finn Balor to SmackDown, Pete Dunne to Raw, Braun Strowman has smacked down the Undisputed Era on Raw to close out the Superstar Shakeup, taking out everybody, and then Kofi and Seth switch spots. Woo! Because I still think, for some reason, they're going to combine those titles. I don't know if they're going to. They hinted it on Raw. Maybe it's just complete clickbait, but maybe they'll combine those titles. Love one Undisputed Champion. Anyway, guys. That's where I'm going to leave it today. Let me know who you would like to see go from Raw to SmackDown, SmackDown to Raw, NXT UK, NXT regular, whatever you want to see. Developmental, anything, let me know. As always, I'm Tony Beats Guy. We will see you in another video.